Okay, I just imagine a Saturday Night Live skit with Zac Efron, because everybody's obsessed with uh, our previous skit for him where there's the fish that says, oh my god, you're Zac Efron. So I was like, expanding upon that, I was thinking of things that sort of rhyme with his last name. So you've got like, he's laying in bed, you know, he wakes up in the morning, and then he quickly pantomimes doing certain things on the set, you know, like uh, he's Zac, here, pause it for a second. Well, he's snack snephron because he eats a snack yeah. before he takes a shower of, like, some healthy protein bar. Yeah, and then you have, like, a sexy voice, you know, being like, he's a real ladies killer as he pantomimes doing sexy things, you know. So, all right, so then he sits down at his computer and then, you know, he becomes Zach Enron because he's trading stocks and doing business because he's so rich, right? And then... You have the, uh, while that happens, the sexy voices, and now he's Zach Enron or whatever. Then you have, it show his name each time, you know, flash and different cool neon colors and stuff as it becomes different things that are different colors each time. Like just his name, Zach Efron, all cool, projected. Then when he becomes Zach Enron, um... The F of his name, like, the legs of it, like, break off. <laughs> and, like... The top part is that's like shaped like an N falls and like becomes the N as he becomes Zach Enron because he's, you know, doing supposedly dirty, you know, business through the stock market. Then immediately afterwards, he's done with that and he becomes uh, the final stage on the computer. He becomes uh, Zach. Uh... Just a sec. So the skit starts out with. Two guys sitting at a table wearing boring clothes, eating boring sandwiches with a single light coming down on them. And one of them says to his boring friend, you know, we're so boring and ugly. I wonder what it would be like to be Zac Efron for a day. Then the other guy says, I may be boring, but I could imagine. And then it, the light flicks out over them and then it starts with Zac Efron, you know, waking up in bed at the crack of dawn. Immediately upon finishing breakfast, he brushes his teeth and becomes Plaque Efferoff. Instead of Efferon, he becomes Plaque Efferoff. <laughs> okay, so when he's doing the shower part of the skit, the way it works is, you know, it's like you have fake water coming down in shadow like you do, but it's not actually hitting him, of course. Because then he's pantomiming like he's washing himself all sexy. Then he puts on his shower robe and steps into view, uh, into, you know, full view out of the shadow effect. And he's, uh, immediately lays down like a massage table that's there. And, um, then like a small Asian woman instantly descends from the rafters out of nowhere and starts massaging his back with her feet. And then the sexy voice guy says, now he's back stepped on. Then uh, he hops up from there, of course, and uh, continues on to the next part of the skit where he's uh, using his computer. But, oh, during the, um, before that, right, the left on part, you gotta have that tanning bed light come on while the woman's doing it. So, like, it's all, like, kind of a little bit dark where he's getting onto the massage table. Then that bright pink-red light flickers on from, you know, red light therapy, and then immediately she's descending into that light hilariously, like feet first, you know, hilarious. And then it fits the two together as he's also uh, Zach left on when he gets up from the table because he leaves it on. All right, here's the list of words I came up with in the right order for his skit. He wakes up, so it's Zach up dawn. He gives a big yawn, and remember, this is, uh, you gotta have a sexy narrator voice doing this, sort of chocolatey. Then, uh, he quickly goes to the kitchen, and, uh, he makes himself a bowl of cereal, and he realizes that it's, uh, Zach milk gone, because all of his milk is gone in his fridge. So then he has to use, uh, Zach fat non, he has to use non-fat milk. And, uh... Almond milk. Almond milk, yeah. Then uh, he uh, goes and he takes a shower. And uh, I think we already explained that one. 
can't remember it. I don't have it on the list. And then um, he's got his uh, red light bed, as people have been using those, you know, lately at home. So that's Zach left on, because he just leaves it on, baby. So it's like ambience for the uh, rest of the time he spends in his apartment or whatever. So then he sits down at his computer, and it's Zach and Ron, because he's doing, you know, naughty stocks and stuff, and, like, trading what he shouldn't, and then it's his eyebrows turn all a V of evil, As you know. a sinister red glow hits his face. Yeah. As he grins evilly. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But then, you know, he uh, pulls his mic into position and he turns into Zach Micron. And then he's, uh, you know, using a web chat application, you know, dating. And uh, the fish lady comes on, you know, and says, oh, my God, you're, uh... I don't know. I mean, I think she just says Zach Efron because... Because that's his truest form is, is a fish loving... Yeah, that's just who he is. He's, he's really expressed himself as such. So uh, after he's done, you know, chatting with her for a moment, he, you know, quickly slams his uh, laptop lid down, and then he looks straight at whatever camera's on him, and he says, I don't know if I want to be in the MCU anymore, or whatever. But the joke doesn't, doesn't end there. So then he uh, is on his way to uh, start his day out and about, you know, away from his house, so you know. On his way to uh, to ref a college girls volleyball game, because you know that's what he would do, right? He uh, stops by a uh, Jewish um, celebration real quick, as you know people come in with the Jewish palm leaves and everything and put on their menorahs, and then he becomes a uh, snack snefron as he's dancing around holding two shawarmas in either hand, you know, to the music for a second. Then he quickly continues on past the celebration onto the college volleyball game where he becomes Zach Refon as he pulls on his black and white striped shirt and his whistle. Then um, the girls, you know, do some sexy plays and get in an argument and start fighting. So then he goes between them and pushes them apart. And uh, well, I think I forgot to mention, yeah, when he's at the Jewish, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting the scramble, but you guys get the idea. When he's at the Jewish uh, cabal, it's called he's called Zachariah Ephrons. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, that was my joke. Zach yeah. Ephron and Zachariah Ephrons are, are, my, are my two favorite jokes. Yeah. I came up with that one recently. Yeah. All right. So then he's uh, so then all of the other college girls gather around him, you know, and uh, he turns into Mac Big John because you know they're all feeling his arm muscles, you know, as he's pulling them apart. So then all of their boyfriends stand up from the stands and they, uh, the chocolatey announcer switches from, you know, African chocolatey to, uh, to, you know, Jamaican as he says, and now he's become, uh, Zach Eftman. I don't know. And that's, that's supposed to be the end joke, you know, as all the guys are like, Hey, and then it goes, you know, dark as the women are grabbing at his arms and everything. I mean, it's about as tasteless and, uh, you know, suddenly there's not a rhyme there as, as everybody would want. That's about as dumb as I could go. I mean, we roll back to about, you know, set the stage 2002. That's, you know, about what Mad TV was doing. Yeah. That's about what they do. So I, I gave them what they want. Here's your reference list for the skit with the different jokes based on his uh, nickname that I came up with all these. So uh, make sense out of that. I think I've given you enough details.